Sarah from Rayco Controls and today I want to talk about manually programming scenes into a Rayco dimmer system. Hopefully by now the dimmers have been addressed with new house, room and channel numbers. If this hasn't yet been done then I've covered how to do this in the video manually setting up a Rayco dimmer. With a dimmer's address you should have basic control from a Rayco wall plate. Before any scene levels are programmed the default settings will be 100, 75, 50 and 25%. But now we want to program some more interesting scenes or moves into the system. Before we start, it's worth just explaining briefly how the system works. Each dimmer remembers a dimming level for each scene. So when we program, say, scene 2, we're not programming the wall plate, we're actually putting a level for scene 2 into each dimmer in turn. The wall plate only sends a message saying which button has been pressed and in which house and room. It's the dimmers that remember all the settings. So to program some levels, first we put the plate into programming mode just as we did when addressing the modules. Once again, the buttons then take on different functions. Always starting from channel zero, every time we press button one, we step up a channel. Every time we press button two, we step down a channel. Button three will send an ident command, which flashes the lights, but without moving up or down a channel. And importantly, button four saves what we've done. So if we take this example of four dimmers where I've previously addressed them as channels one to four. Currently, they respond to the scene buttons by going to the default levels, which is of course the same for all of them. So if I want to program, say, scene 3, currently this is all dimmers at 50%. Now when addressing, it didn't really matter which scene button we pressed to enter programming mode, but now it does. We must press the scene that we want to change. Keep it held and then press and hold the raise and lower buttons. Now from experience, this catches a lot of people out. So press and hold the scene button that you want to program, in this case 3. Once it's held, then also press and hold the raise and lower buttons. OK, so now we're in programming mode. All of the lights should have flashed and the LEDs in the dimmer modules should be pulsing, as we've seen before. Now starting from channel 0, if I press button 1 once, I step up to the first dimmer. I can now adjust the lighting levels using the raise and lower buttons. When I'm happy with the level for the first dimmer, I can press button 1 to move up to the second dimmer. Again, dim it up or down with the raise and lower buttons. Now press button 1 to move up to channel 3, adjust that, and finally channel 4. So that's pretty well how I want it, but let's say I want to tweak dimmer 1 again. I can step down a channel at a time using button 2. And once I'm on channel 1, I can make my adjustments. And finally I'm happy, so press button 4 to save, and then off to exit. Do always press the off button after programming each scene. The system only knows which scene you're programming because that's the scene you press with the raise and lower buttons initially. So to program another scene you need to come out of programming and re-enter pressing the new scene to be programmed. So if I now want to program button 4, I press and hold button 4 and the raise and lower buttons. OK, I'm in program mode and button 1 to step up a channel. Adjust the first dimmer. Up a channel. Adjust the second dimmer. And again. And again. Press 4 to save. And off to exit. OK, so now jumping ahead, I've actually programmed all my scenes and now we can see just how each button recalls a very different effect or mood. Shown here in our conference room, we can see how a scene can smoothly crossfade, in this case eight lighting circuits, simply by pressing one button. So that's how you program a scene from a Rayco wall plate. Now sometimes what people are after is what we call channel mode. In channel mode, the wall plate acts much more like a conventional multi-way switch. Rather than recalling a scene which will control all of the circuits in a room, in channel mode, button one toggles on and off circuit one, button two, circuit two, and so on. 
If you do want this type of operation, then you need to change the mode of the wall plate by pressing and holding these three buttons in this order, keeping them held as you go. Off, to and up. So going back to my example board before dimmers, I've still got a wall plate in scene mode, recalling the scenes I've just programmed. Now if I press off, then to, and now up, and keep them all held, Okay, now we can see the LEDs start to pulse on the wall plate and let go. So now the wall plate should be in channel mode. So press button one. And again. And we can see it's controlling circuit one only. Button two. On. And off. The raise and lower buttons dim the last channel selected. In this case, two. Now what we've actually done is change the wall plate, not the dimmers. So if we take another wall plate addressed to the same house and room, but still in scene mode, this recalls my scenes and this gives individual circuit control. Now at Rayco we tend to think that whilst channel mode has its uses, most of the time people use it because they're not used to the idea of scene setting and our thoughts are give it a try. If you really don't like it then it's only three buttons to press and you've got your individual circuit control. Equally, you can easily change back to scene mode by another three button press. In this case, one, off and down. Don't worry too much about remembering these buttons. Instead, I would suggest downloading the application sheet advanced control panel features from our website. You'll find that this gives you the buttons to press for channel mode, plus other options and features. I hope that you found this video useful and thanks for watching.